Hi, I'm Al and this is Burntwood Workshop. And what we're going to talk about today is 3D engraving with an S1 40 watt laser by Xtool. This is some of the stuff I did. This is pine. This is on maple. Quarter inch plywood. And later on we'll go over some more. For starters, today we're just going to go over results on different types of wood. This is a 3x3 three three piece of pine. This is a 3x3 three three piece of maple. And this is a 3x3 three three piece of cedar. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up our laser. The first piece we're going to do is the 3x3 three inch, three inch pine. And what I like to do is use the laser to make sure it's squared up with the crosshairs, which it's not. There we go. And then we're going to run a focus. frame it, hit start marking. I always move it to the forward corner so that it finishes on the back corner. So if I'm going to do repeated stuff, I can just set that corner again and rerun it without bumping it. Okay, so once we're done marking, we're going to hit done. Then we're going to bring in our image. And we're going to pick this sun right here and open it. And all the ones that I bought from Etsy come up with larger than, can, larger than the canvas. So you just hit fit the scale. And we made the block 3x3. Three three. So if I just hit 3, that makes it 3x3. Three three. And we set it inside of there. And then we set our settings. And on gray in engrave, I put it at... 55% power, 150 speed, grayscale, and 200 lines per centimeter. And then we're ready to process. And the processing takes a little shorter time on these 3 inch by 3 inch ones. On the large ones, they can take quite a bit longer. And we hit start, and that'll send it to the laser. The Larger 3D engraves can take two hours or more. Something small like this is a lot faster, about 15 minutes. Once it starts sending. And that'll engrave and I have my Outside fan running also. Something I picked up from Amazon. Runs out the side of my studio. And we will come back and do the maple one next. Okay, so we're just about finishing up on the piece of pine. And it took about a little over 17 minutes to engrave on a three inch by three inch. So the bigger you go, the longer they're gonna take. And on a side note, the exhaust fan that I got, I would probably go with something a little bigger than the one I got. It draws the smoke out nice, but it, the flappers kind of freeze up every once in a while with soot. You have to go out and climb up and clean them off. Okay, so this is pine. And this is the result on pine, as you can see, does a really nice job. Okay, so the next one we're going to do is maple. So if you take your maple, and you set it up on the crosshair, since it's the same size, we should be able to just go and click process and once she loads up 
it should be preset for running it again and it's sending the file and just as an example one thing I did try was trying to do this on oak and as far as wood goes oak I would not say gives the best result I scrub that with alcohol and everything I could think of those black lines do not come out so just another tip and we're ready to go and as you can see comes right out where we want it and we're good to go okay we're just finishing up the maple piece and as you can see it looks a bit darker when it engraves than the pine did and I'll pull it out in a second here she should finish up but with the maple normal you get less ridges than you do with the pine some of the pine the grains can show up very heavily and they don't quite show up as much on the maple but as you can see that came out kind of dark but you can see the depth and the smooth engraving is very nice on the maple that's the maple and this is the pine in comparison as you can see you can see the grains more on the pine okay so our next one we're gonna do is gonna be cedar okay and we're gonna go process again on the screen and we're gonna hit start and she's gonna send the file and then what I do on these a lot of times is I'll clean them up with rubbing alcohol afterwards actually that looks like it might be a little crooked we'll see I think for our test it'll be fine Yeah, it was a little crooked. Sometimes you want to run it across there to make sure it's straight. I'm rushing this a little bit, but the cedar one is just kind of a test. <clears throat> so as you can see, as this finishes up, I didn't square it up. So the bottom part is getting crooked. Now I'm gonna cancel this right here so we can show how to fix that next time. So if I had, when I set this, taken the, the crosshair and just run it from this corner to this corner, as you can see it goes off. If I just run it across, I would have straightened that up. And this is what we get with cedar. As you can see it's got quite a bit of burn, but the detail is really nice so the next step we're going to do is we're going to clean them to clean them up what i use is just regular isopropyl alcohol squirt a little bit on them and scrub them with a toothbrush As you can see, the cedar one chars up a little bit more. But the detail on the pine, you can see it's got a bit of graininess to it. The maple, there's almost no grain look to it comes out very smooth and I have upped the power on these and got a little deeper engraves on those and they come out nice and then the cedar because it's so soft does engrave quite deep and it actually 
comes out quite nice. So it's not a matter of softwood or hardwood, I don't think, because the pine shows up more grains of softwood. The maple, almost no grain, but the cedar really engraves nice. So that's that part of it. So that was our test of the three. As again, once again, that's the pine. That is the maple. And that is the cedar. And as you can see, I did that crooked. I would run my crosshair and straighten that out next time. And then what I do with them is this is a finished product of one I've done. So there's a lot of options for this. If you like my video, hit subscribe. Hit a like, I'd appreciate it. This is my first video, so bear with me. I've got a lot more coming. I got some tips on the S X Tool S1. Come up with quite a few after running it, and I have more to come.